News and Information 570 AM. 96.3 FM HD2. KLIF Dallas. KSCS FM HD2 Fort Worth. KLIF.com. Accumulus Station. Now, from the fifth floor Cumulus Studios in downtown Dallas, it's time for Inside Real Estate. Here's your host, Michael Krasinga. Good morning, Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Welcome to Inside Real Estate, Mike Krasinga. We are here back live. Happy New Year. We were out for a little bit, uh, sending you some, some taped tricks the last couple weeks, but we are. Happy to be back live and in person and in studio. Happy New Year to everybody out there. Uh, we brought in the New Year with a bane, literally. Uh, all you gun-toting Texans out there, we brought in the open carry as of the New Year. So congratulations to everyone out there. If uh, you were a concealing carry, you can, uh, with the right permits, be an open carry now. So uh most law enforcement folks just said, you know what, the only difference for, is uh, uh, they were carrying it under their coat, and now they're carrying it over their coat. And honestly, there's not a lot of conceal and carry permits out there anyway, and probably not going to be a lot of open carry either, really. Uh, but you know what, legally we got the right to do that, and so that's that's great for all you Texans out there, just to be careful. Uh, we got a lot to talk about today, folks, a lot to talk about. Um Hope everyone enjoyed the holidays. I certainly did. I was down in Santiago, Chile for the New Year's, celebrated New Year's down there, had a blast. Uh, first time I'd been down there. Uh, folks down there, super friendly, and uh, just so much to see and do, so much history down there. Uh, we're definitely going to go back again because we didn't get to do everything. Absolutely had a blast down there. And then uh, actually just the other day, we got to go see Carlos Mencia over at the Improv here in Addison, and he was hilarious if you haven't seen this guy i've seen some of his stuff on hbo and uh this guy is unbelievably hilarious i laughed non-stop the entire time i would highly recommend checking him out live if you ever ever get the chance uh just a great great guy there hey folks we got a lot to talk about today what we're going to do is we're going to, after the next break, we're going to talk mortgage talk. We've got Terry Wagner in studio, uh, live from RockyMartin.com, Supreme Lending Rockwall. We're going to be talking with her. We're going to do mortgage talk. And then I'm excited to say we've got uh, the head coach from Katy, Texas football, uh, state champions. We'll be calling in later uh, in the show for our high school sports segment. So we're going to be talking to him about uh, – uh, his tenure down there in Katy, great head coach. Uh, the amount of wins that he has put together is is ridiculous. He's got a 168 and 14 record, uh, if you can believe that. So one heck of a head coach. And actually, one of his players uh, was um, in the uh, All American game yesterday as well. So Kyle Porter was in that game yesterday as well. So just get, he's always had a great squad, and uh, he just does great things down there in Katy. So we're excited to chat with him later in the show. He will be calling in. Um, and then, of course, we're going to be talking about some headlines and kind of what else is going on uh, in real estate. Uh, a little bit of information if you want to call in, 888-787-KLIF, 888-787-KLIF, uh, website inside realestateradio.com, inside realestateradio.com and you connect with us there for anything and everything uh, related to us or our vendors on the show so if you want to be a part of the show if you want to be a part of one of our high school sports segments uh, be a sponsor of the radio program uh, you can catch up with us right there and of course everything that we do on the show all the stories and topics that we talk about on the show we have now on our pinterest page so you can uh, catch up with us, and if you're a Pinterest uh, follower, you can go Inside Real Estate Radio and uh, any of the stories that you hear. Uh, if you're interested in seeing where those came from, go to the Pinterest pray page, and there's links to all of those articles right there. Of course, if you are in the real estate market and you're actively looking for real estate, uh, our app in both the Apple and Droid stores is dfwmetroplexrealestate.com and that's courtesy of our folks over in California uh, snaprealestate.com snap with two p's snaprealestate.com uh, 
com. So, new listing we just put up uh, over the weekend. I wanted to tell you about this one. Beautiful property, uh, the Jewel of Glen Rose, Texas. And uh, if you don't know where Glen Rose is, it's kind of south of Granbury. Uh, and it's kind of situated uh, between Cleburne and Stephenville. So, just west of Cleburne, east of Stephenville, south of Granbury. Beautiful Beautiful area. If you've ever been out towards uh, Dinosaur State Valley Park, that's where it is. And uh, just south of that is this property. And it's about an 18-acre property on about two parcels. Beautiful home, darn near 6,000-square-foot home, uh, four-car garage, plus an exterior workshop. It's also got a 40-foot lawn RV uh, garage as well. Kind of some rolling hills, uh, very hill country like, very much so. Uh, it borders the Paluxy River on one side, and on the other side, it's got road frontage to 205. And uh, just an absolute beautiful, beautiful property. Outside the back, we got about a five acre stocked pond, just beautiful. And it sort of moves on down the line and flows into the Paluxy River. Just a beautiful, beautiful property. Uh, private circle drive out front, colonial style pillars, uh, red brick home. Just beautiful, well appointed throughout, cherry wood uh, throughout the entire property. And of course, all the typical amenities you expect of a home of this size. Uh, we got it listed at 895000 for this 18 acre, beautiful, beautiful property. Uh, just a real gem. And, you know, the Chisholm Trail coming uh, out of the Metroplex shoots down there to Cleburne. And uh, so it's, you know, for any of you executives kind of live in the Fort Worth area, uh, it's a quick shot to get down to there and just a couple, uh, you know, county and farm road bounces uh, from the turnpike over to Glen Rose. So it's actually really accessible to the Metroplex. So if you're looking for something uh that's got a nice little spread you might want to give me a shout about that and uh we'll get you get you hooked up hooked up on that property uh just a beautiful beautiful property uh super serene you go out there and you just feel like you're on on vacation uh five acres stocked pond wow uh so super happy to have that one come on board 1169 river crest out in Glen rose and uh so if you're interested in something like that, give me a shout. Don't forget, we got a really nice quadplex over in Crowley. Uh, if you're a first-time investor, maybe you want to use your VA or an FHA, you actually can buy a quadplex with a VA or FHA as long as you're going to occupy one of those units. Great quadplex, uh, near 8% cap rate on that one over in Crowley, and it is is still available. So uh, give me a shout on that one too. Folks, uh, we got a lot to cover today. Uh, we're going to take a short break, and then we're going to come on back with some mortgage talk. Folks, it's Inside Real Estate Mike Krasinga. Be back. Millennium Title Carroll PC Real Estate is a unique multi-service real estate title, law, and real estate investment firm that handles over 150 commercial and residential closings each month. Their real estate, legal, and tax services range from purchases to refinances to short sales and reverse mortgages. They can handle all of your real estate, legal, and tax planning needs. Their experience offers clients and investors a comprehensive perspective in managing their real estate law and investment needs. Visit TXTitleAttorney.com, that's TXTitleAttorney.com, or call 817-310-0136. 96.3 FM, HD2, and 570 AM. Two great places to keep up with your world with KLIF News and Information. With decades of experience, the Rocky Martin Supreme Lending Team will work to close your home loan in 30 days or less. With access to the most competitive interest rates, the most financing options, and the most access to down payment assistance programs, the Rocky Martin Team won't be beating service to you for all your mortgage needs, including purchase and refinance. Trust RockyMartin.com and his team for their reliable and fast loan process. Go to Rocky RockyMartin.com or call 972-772-1866 today. For housing lender, NMLS ID number 211731 6730 Horizon Road, Sweet B, Heath, Texas, 75032. Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Hey folks, we're back. Inside Real Estate, Mike Krasinga. About time to talk some mortgage. Uh, a little bit later in the show, I'm going to do some headlines. There's some things going on here in the Metroplex, real estate-wise. I'm going to bring those things, those stories to your attention later in the show. And, uh, 
you know, I always usually start out with a little bit of uh, this day in history, and uh, I missed it this morning. Yes, you did. I, I done forgot about it. But I have it right here in my stack, and guess what? I will just throw it in later on in the show. Um, Terry Wagner, welcome to the show. It's RockyMartin.com com is the website phone number 866-607-5667 over at our favorite folks at supreme lending rockwall terry how you doing i'm doing good good to see you mike good to see you happy new year happy new year to you it's cold outside it's a uh, <laughs> chilly 20 some odd degrees yes, out there yes, yes it is we're all bundled up uh and of course it's usually about 27 degrees here in the studio anyway yeah. <laughs> yes it is so we're That's just getting ready for it you know right. um and I know there's there were some you know a couple sad things going on around the holidays with all the tornadoes and whatnot. Right. And they got kind of near close out to your way too. Yes, it was kind of scary. And so you know we just want to say our thoughts and prayers are you know out to all those folks that you know may have suffered uh, during the those tough times with the tornadoes and and those natural disasters that were occurring around the holidays. Yes, absolutely. There was certainly some some devastation uh, out in our area. And our thoughts and prayers definitely are with those that were affected, for sure. Absolutely. Um, So today I thought that I would, um, you know, not not to be a downer uh, on a Sunday morning, because that's not what we're about. That's right. We're Um, uppers. That's right. We're uppers. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But I wanted to just bring uh, a loan program back to light. We've talked about it before, but it's a rehab loan. For those that were affected or maybe weren't and still want to consider this loan type um, to do some rehabilitation on their home Um, if they've suffered some damage there are loans that will allow them to fix uh, make better make whole their home again um, if they've suffered any of those with a refinance Um, you can also use these loan types for purchases but but i primarily wanted to talk today about you know anyone who's who had damage you sure. know, that wants to rehab their home. Um, so you can do um, you can do a 30 year or 15 year. You don't, it's not just strictly for the 30 year. Um, you can, it can be your owner occupied home. It could be your primary residency, or it could be a second home that you owned, or it could be an investment property and you can still do a rehab loan on the, on those types of properties. Um, you can't take cash out. You can't do a, cash out and then do it yourself because basically a rehab loan what it is um you are you are contracting with someone to come in and do those repairs to your home it's not a self-help loan for you to just take take cash out that's a different type of loan right this is this is guaranteed right and the lender has to have those guarantees right and and it protects the consumer um a great deal against unfortunately there are those bad folks out there that are there just to take your money and they're really not going to do anything to your home sure so it protects against those those issues as well right um just because we have all kinds of safeguards against that um so the the maximum cost of the repair is a hundred thousand dollars so that can do a lot of work to a home absolutely Um, you can fix a lot of things um you can uh, you can do up well like, like I said you can do up to fifty percent of the value of your home. We've talked about this before too. So let's say your home as complete um, is going to be worth two hundred thousand dollars. You can put a hundred thousand in it. Okay. So if it was if it was destroyed, you can you can put a lot of money back into it. Sure. Um, eligible repairs. You can fix your structure foundation if something happened to your to your structure of your home, either through the storms or not through the storms. If you just have structural uh, issues with the home, you can actually add the cost of that into a rehab loan. Okay. Um, you can eliminate health and safety hazards. Uh, you can install wells and septic systems. Um, you can uh, repair or add roof. A whole, if you need a whole new roof, we can roll that into the cost of the repairs on the rehab loan. Um, this was very interesting, and I didn't know that we could do this until a week or so ago. You can add a storm shelter ah. and, and roll that into the cost of the, of the repairs. Okay. Okay. And that it would certainly be very wise. Right. You know, that used to be kind of a common thing, you know, uh, back in the day, homes were just built with I know my a storm shelter. One. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but not very many people, but, but it does, I mean, like you see them at Home Depot all the time. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, you can add those, 
to to the rehab of your home. You can be doing other things to your home and decide this is the time to do it, and you can add that storm shelter. Yeah, that and it is because you know we're now it's not really a major storm season, but it's kind of an odd time that we had them. But you know, moving in the spring when we really do get them, it might be something to think about. Right. You well, know, now's I, the time to do it. it yeah, it really is to get that. prepared for it. You know, the lots we used to have, there was space for it. And so a lot of the lots for particularly the homes that were built in, say, the 90s and 2000s, mm-hmm. typical subdivision, maybe there's not that same space for a storm shelter, but they've got a lot of different types out there. You I, know, and, and you, you there's some that you can actually uh, just put in your garage. Right. It's a standalone unit. That's what I was going to say, and it bolts right to the foundation of your home out in your garage. Right. I really like and that. And then there's one. some you can dig out portion of the garage and put in as well. Now, obviously, if you're in an HOA, there's going to be, uh, restrictions and things like that. So you'll need to check with your HOAs if you're in an HOA. Correct. But but now's a great time to be thinking about those storm shelters. Mm-hmm. You're right. And if you can, you know, instead of paying cash on it, yeah, do some sort of rehab type loan. Right. Improve yeah. your surroundings. Yeah. Um, That's a great, great idea. Upda- update the kitchen, whatever it is you, you, you know, you need to do. Mm-hmm. Um, you just have to have a minimum of a 660 credit score. And that's a whole other show. If your credit score is not up to a 660, we can certainly get you there. But we'll talk about that another time. That's right. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Requirements from your contractor. This is what I was talking about earlier about we're going to protect the consumer. We have all kinds of requirements for contractors and what they have to pass and be acceptable with. We have a list of contractors that aren't allowed to do loans with us. So once we find... A bad apple. They go on the bad they list. Go on the, they go on the bad list. Absolutely. Naughty list. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> so what happens with this loan type is you have a contractor that comes out, um, and they give you a bid on all of the items that you want to fix or repair. They supply us with that list. Um, we then give that to the appraiser. For when they appraise the home, they'll appraise it as is, and then they'll appraise it with the cost to cure from the contractor Um, And then the value as complete. Right. Okay. Um, All work. Now, in some states, the the contractor has to be licensed. In the state of Texas, they do not. But they do have to be insured. Um, They have to be uh, bonded and insured. They have to have been in the business for over three years. And they have to be self-employed. This particular contractor contractor that that you've selected has to be in one year business ownership okay so it can't be just some new random guy that decided he wants to fix houses for a living okay (laughs) and there are plenty of those out there yeah um and and then there's no self-help like we talked about you can't get the money to do the work yourself you have to have a licensed bonded contractor right um so then you've got um withdrawals or the or the draws that that the contractor's going to get. So the contractor's not going to get any money before they do the work. Right. So they're going to come in, you've commissioned them to do the work. They're going to come in, do we'll say we're going to separate it in five stages. Um and that's that's determined by consultant. Consultant's going to tell us how many how many draws are acceptable for this amount of work. So the contractor's going to come in and do the first set of repairs. He's going to get inspected, then he's going to get paid. He's going to come in and do the second, so on and so on. So he's not going to get paid until that work is done. Right. And he's not going to get paid in whole after the first one. Right. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. So he's going to have to take those draws like that. And you'll have to, you know, some contractors may not be able to do that. Right. Uh, You know, because a lot of times it just just depends on their situation. I mean, they could be a well-known, excellent contractor, but just not at that particular time. Right. Have the cash flow to float that job. You never know. So you're going to have to figure that out, you know, when you uh, hire your contractor. Right. And our, um, uh, the... The minimum credit scores are dependent on what type of loan you have. I said 660 for a credit score. That's if it's your primary residency. If it's a second home, you're going to have to have a 700 credit score. Uh, and if it's an investment, a 680. Okay. okay. And then um, just completely off the, the topic here, because I know I'm just about out of time. You were talking earlier about FHA loans. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know this. Just came out. Uh, FHA max loan amounts went up to, in our area, $334,650. Nice. Did you know that? 
No, that's great. Isn't that cool? Sweet. Yeah. So those uh, those borrowers that don't quite fit in the mold of a conventional loan, um, just because houses are more expensive now. They are. Um, right. And so FHA is kind of following suit with you can buy a little bit more of a house and still qualify for an FHA loan. Yeah, you're going to need to because uh, that's about all we got out there. Right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. You want something under 300000 No. No. It doesn't there's... exist. Uh, kidding. Yes, they, they do exist. But, yeah, no, that's super helpful because we need that. Right. We I need we that. Do. We need that help big time. Yeah. We, we might need help do. on the conventional loans soon, so hopefully we'll get that as well. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we talked about the rehabs because – it's just it's a great product and a lot of people really just don't know about it you know so you know if you if you do need foundation work uh which is a big expense you know all of a sudden let's say you're you're rural and you're on septic and uh you know your septic goes out wow that's a big bill Mm -hmm. right there right great opportunity to do the rehab loan on it right um and maybe you want to add in some other things so let's say you have something occur at your home and uh you need to get it fixed it's a big ticket item well, and you also thought about, well, you know what? I really do need a sprinkler system, you know, because everybody honestly needs one. Right. You know, here in Texas, I mean, you just can't keep your lawn uh, looking halfway decent without it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, throw in the sprinkler system or or whatever else you might be able to do or a storage shelter. Right. You know. Well, uh, we talked about this loan primarily for refis just because of the mm-hmm. currents that we've had in the last uh, little bit. Um, but this is also good for purchases. Um, you know, if, if, if you're considering selling your home um, and you just you don't have the funds to fix it, but you really want to sell it and move on um, job or whatever the reason may be, um, homes can be listed as rehab eligible Yeah. so that uh, whomever is buying that home from you can apply and get a rehab loan mm-hmm. to uh, to fix it and make it exactly what they want it to be. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, if you want to redo the bathrooms, right. et cetera, you know, I've got, we've got a nice listing over in North Arlington and it's, uh, you know, a great little property, but mm-hmm. it does need a little bit of updating to it. And, uh, you know, the sellers kind of brought the price down a little bit on it and, uh, it's really priced, you know, accordingly, you know, but it does have new carpet, new paint, new mm-hmm. updates in the kitchen, bathrooms need some updates and stuff like that. But, you know, this particular property, yeah, you can come in, maybe do a rehab, even if you're only going to use maybe 15000 in rehab dollars. Right. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be a big rehab. It doesn't have to be a lot, mm-hmm. but 15000 could go a long way doing sure. bathrooms, you know, and just average size house, sure. you know, 2,200 square feet uh, could go a long way for you out there. You can add a pool, too. I mean, I know it's cold outside and we're not really thinking about pools. Right. <laughs> but but it, just like you said, it, it, great neighborhood, great bones to the house. You really like this home, but mm. God, you really wanted a pool, right? Do a rehab loan and add the pool. Put it in, right? Yeah, absolutely. And guess what? It'll be hotter and blazes before you <laughs> before know it. You so know it. That's might right. as well think about the pool That's now right. and think about doing it now. And you can put the pool in and your storm shelter in. <laughs> and so by the time spring storms get here, you'll be ready. You're then already, when the heat gets here, you'll be ready to hop in the pool. Be the perfect home for you. And you do have to be careful about picking your contractors out there. Yes. You yes, know. you do. And and Supreme Lending has, we have our naughty list. We also have a nice list. So we have a list of contractors that have already been approved because while the borrower is going through the approval process for their credit file, the contractor is going through his approval process and it takes just about as long. So um, we already have contractors that have been approved and are on our nice list that we can recommend to you. Yeah, and that's great. And so if you're thinking about that, give us a shout. Give mm-hmm. Terry a shout or myself a shout, you know, because that's a huge weight off your off your shoulders oh, sure. if just to find the right right contractor because there's a gazillion contractors out there. And a lot of uh, industries don't require uh, in the state of Texas, you know, to be certified. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, you never know. They may not, uh, that particular category of contractor may not need it. Right. And obviously, electricians do, plumbers do, but for example, roofers, you know, do not. You know, the uh, they do need to be insured, etc. But uh, the only license they might have is a license to carry, <laughs> That's right. a license well, to open carry because it's legal now. That's right, because it is legal. <laughs> uh, but uh, as far as the roofing capabilities, eh, anybody's guess. <laughs> right. 
Hey, folks, it's Inside Real Estate with Mike Krasinga. We will be back in a couple seconds. Millennium Title Carroll PC Real Estate is a unique multi-service real estate title, law, and real estate investment firm that handles over 150 commercial and residential closings each month. Their real estate, legal, and tax services range from purchases to refinances to short sales and reverse mortgages. They can handle all of your real estate, legal, and tax planning needs. Their experience offers clients and investors a comprehensive perspective in managing their real estate law and investment needs. Visit TXTitleAttorney.com, that's TXTitleAttorney.com, or call 817-310-0136. With decades of experience, the Rocky Martin Supreme Lending Team will work to close your home loan in 30 days or less. With access to the most competitive interest rates, the most financing options, and the most access to down payment assistance programs, the Rocky Martin Team won't be beating service to you for all your mortgage needs, including purchase and refinance. Trust RockyMartin.com and his team for their reliable and fast loan process. Go to RockyMartin.com or call 972-772-1866 today. For housing lender, NMLS ID number 211731-6730, Horizon Road, Sweet B, Heath, Texas, 75032. The J.C. Harder Insurance Agency in Uptown Dallas has nearly unlimited resources when it comes to getting you the best insurance rates and policies for home, auto, and more. As part of the Goosehead Insurance brand, you, the consumer, have the power of choice through the J.C. Harder Insurance Agency network. For a quote today on all your insurance needs, stop by J.C.'s office on McKinney Avenue in Uptown Dallas. Call 214-643-6108 or visit jcharderagency.com. That's 214-643-6108 or J.C. JCHarderAgency.com. Make your travel dreams come true January 7th through the 10th at the Tarrant County RV Show at the Fort Worth Convention Center. Over 250,000 square feet of every style of RV. Come check out the array of everything from pop-up campers to fully equipped travel trailers. From fifth wheels to Class A motor coaches with all the luxuries of a home on wheels. And register to win things like a Trek bike, stand-up paddleboard, a Yeti cooler, and on Sunday 500 fishing poles to the first 500 kids with paid admission. All courtesy of the exhibiting dealers of the Tarrant County RV Show. Get your tickets and discount coupons online at fortworthrvshow.com. That's fortworthrvshow.com. Don't miss out on specialty exhibits like cooking classes and camping equipment demonstrations and a whole lot more. Whether you're a seasoned RVer or a newcomer, find out everything you need to know at fortworthrvshow.com. That's fortworthrvshow.com. It's the Tarrant County RV Show, January 7th through the 10th. For tickets, go to fortworthrvshow.com. Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Hey folks, Mike Krasinga, we are back inside Real Estate, live and in person. Happy New Year. Uh, we just had a great segment with Terry Wagner from Supreme Lending Rockwall. Uh, phone number where they are always standing by for all your mortgage and refinance, cash out needs, anything related to mortgage. Uh, 866-607-5667. Terry Wagner in studio our mortgage expert website, RockyMartin.com. That's Rocky with an IE, RockyMartin.com. And, and also, by the way, you know, Terry mentioned um, their naughty and nice list of contractors. And so, uh, you know, if you're having trouble finding a contractor out there for something that you're thinking about, uh, you might want to give myself or Terry a shout, uh, shoot us an email, text, or otherwise, and uh, so we can connect you uh, with the right folks out there as well. So we're going to do a couple things real quick before we uh, ha have our high school sports segment coming up, which we're going to be talking to Gary Joseph, uh, head coach, KD High School, state champions. Going to be talking to him in about, oh, 10 or 12 minutes uh, in the high school sports segment. But before we get there, i got a few headlines I'm going to throw at you. And I forgot to do my This Day in History earlier on in the first segment, so... You know, I got to do that. So here we come, coming at you. Uh, this day in history, by the way, today is January 10th, Sunday. Uh, going back to 1776, Common Sense pamphlet by Thomas Paine was published uh, advocating American independence. He was known as the uh, voice of the American Revolution. So if you know your history, you probably already know the name Thomas Paine. But that was back this day, 1776. Let's go to 1861, uh, voting 62 to 7. Florida said, we're out of here. We're seceding from the Union. I uh, was back heading in towards the Civil War, but they voted 62 to 7 uh, this day in 1861 to say well, they were out of here. Temporarily, of course. 
1901, big day here in Texas. We had oil was discovered. And, of course, we know what a big thing that plays uh, here in Texas. That was 1901. 1928, Soviet Union orders exile of Leon Trotsky, uh, who, of course, opposed Stalinism. Uh, was was one of the first seven in the initial Politburo. Uh, that was back in 1928. They exiled him. Uh, 1943, first U.S. president to visit a foreign country during wartime. FDR went to Casablanca, Morocco, uh, to meet up with Churchill. And, of course, they were strategizing about the war there, but that was the first time U.S. president during wartime went abroad. 1956, you know Elvis is always doing something in this day in history. Uh, Elvis recorded Heartbreak Hotel. That was 1956, this day. Uh, 1958, Jerry Lee Lewis, Great Balls of Fire, reaches number one on the U.K. pop charts. It was back in 1958. And every time I think about that, Great Balls of Fire, uh, I think about the Top Gun movie. You know, when the when they were seen in that one. Goose Man and, and Mav. Uh, and Meg Ryan. A young, very perky, pretty Meg Ryan was in that show at Top Gun. Uh, 1982, The Catch. Uh, uh, you know, Dwight Clark made The Catch. We see uh, highlight reels from that uh, game all the time. That was the Cowboys game and the 49ers game back in 82, NFC Championship game. Uh, of course, the Niners won that one, and that was the Joe Montana catch uh, toss over to Dwight Clark in the end zone, fingertip catch in the end zone, back of the end zone. And, yeah, of course, you know, we see that catch uh, uh, replayed, well, probably every Sunday during just random NFL highlights. But uh, that was this day back in 82. And 1999 is going to wrap it up for us. Uh, the Sopranos uh, came on in HBO uh, back in 99. Seems just like yesterday, but 1999 Sopranos were on. And, folks, that's this day in history, back in time, all the way back in time. And uh, so now we got time for a little bit of headlines. Let's go on into headlines. Let's see what's going on around the area. Uh, hey, Texas Rangers planning to upgrade Globe Life Park over in Arlington for the next coming season. They're going to add a uh, new video board. Uh, it's going to be 34 feet high by 94 feet wide. It's going to be pretty good size and uh, going to be above the visiting bullpen uh, to give a little bit better coverage of the games there. And uh, of all things that they're going to replace, uh, they're going to replace the foul line poles for the first time in club history. Now, I don't know what was exactly wrong with these foul poles out there. They looked fine to me. Um, and these were actually uh, moved to the Arlington Stadium in 72 and then moved over to the new ballpark in 94. So I guess they are fairly old, but I guess there was something wrong with them. So they've decided to replace them. Uh, and, and maybe this is why, because uh, the club is selling off pieces of the foul poles to fans, uh, proceeds to benefit the Texas Rangers Foundation. So uh, I understand maybe buying old seats, but buying a piece of the foul pole, I, I, I'm not sure I, I get that. But um, anyway, i tell you what is foul. The playing of the Rangers last season. But anyway, yeah, if you want a piece of the foul pole, uh, they are going to be selling pieces off of that. But, hey, we do get a new video board, so that's good. And, uh, you know, first thing when I go to the next game, I'll be like, oh, sweet, new foul poles. All right. Way to go. <laughs> hey, J.P. Morgan Chase uh, is in the news here in DFW. Got a couple stories on them. Uh, Houston-based Hines has put the Chase Tower, you know, one of our – uh, Dallas, uh, tallest skyscrapers on the market, uh, 54-story, 1.3 million square foot building on about three acres. It's over at 2200 Ross Ave over by uh, the Dallas Arts District. It's going to go on the market. Uh, county has it uh, valued at around oh, 178 and change million. Of course, it's going to certainly go higher than that. 
Uh, estimates are saying, oh, it could go for $375 million. That's the, the Chase Tower uh, here in Dallas. It's about 76% occupied. Um, you know, Deloitte's over there, and, uh, of course, J.P. Morgan's over there, and a few other big names are in there as well. So that tower is going on. The market might fetch, oh, $375 million. Uh, in addition, you know, J.P. Uh, Morgan is, is also in the news. Uh, they're looking for some uh, tax help, you know, here locally. Uh, there's going to be maybe 4,800 jobs, you know, that they're they're looking to uh, kind of bring here. Uh, they're looking for about $4.93 million in cash incentives and then uh, looking for some solid tax help. Um you know, Liberty Mutual, they already received $8.3 million. 5.2 was in cash, tied to 4,000 jobs, and they got a 10-year 50% tax abatement on their $325 million hub. Uh, so a pretty nice deal for them. So obviously JP's looking for a similar deal, you know, maybe 10-year 50% tax abatement, uh, you know, on their $220 million project, on their uh, project there. So, folks, uh, let me get through maybe one or two more headlines, and then we're going to take a commercial break, and then we're heading on into high school sports here in a second. Uh, new home community coming, Lake Louisville area, probably about $260 million worth of development. Uh, developers purchased land on the north side of Lake Louisville for a large home community. Uh, Centurion American Development purchased the property, and it's uh, going to be about $260 million project, North Lake Estates. Uh, lots for about 750 homes. Construction scheduled to start, oh, first quarter and should hopefully be ready to rock and roll 2017. Uh, side note, they're also renovating the historic Statler Hotel, uh, here in the Metroplex. Um, more new homes, you know, we talk about this all the time because we need new homes. We need a little bit of help, a little bit of relief. Inventory's tight, although inventory tight is good for our sellers. Um, 950 homes coming uh, remember the Clements Ranch uh, east of Dallas, 950 homes coming kind of for any area. Uh, one of the last sections of uh, their ranch in Kaufman lined up for development. Uh, uh, developers filed plans with the city of Dallas to build 950 home residential community on about 260 acres. Uh, this land had been owned, you know, by the family of uh, Governor William Clements, uh, who had passed away back in 2011. Uh, you know, the Clemens family, they settled a good portion of Forney back in, uh, 1800. And, uh, so long time history there. And, uh, they've kind of been selling off pieces of land uh, from time to time. And of course, this additional piece of land that was part of their ranch going to be developed for about 950 homes over there. And of course, Forney is growing, growing, growing. So, Hey, that's kind of the latest, greatest, uh, in the Metroplex folks. Hey, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back high school sports segment, uh, head coach from Katie Football High School Champs is coming up here shortly. We'll be back in a few. Sellers, how would you like your home sold guaranteed? Buyers, how would you like your bid guaranteed to win? Well, it's real simple. Call Mike Krasinga with Chris Arnold Premier Realty and ask about their guarantee programs for both buyers and sellers. No one beats Mike's professional listing and marketing services for all price ranges, including luxuries and ranches. And few have the knowledge and patience to take first-time buyers from renting to home ownership in a tough market. Visit DFWMetroplexRealEstate.com and mention you heard this on the radio. And listen to Mike Sundays 8 a.m. on KLIF for Inside Real Estate. If you can't see the difference, why pay the difference? Switch to DISH and see what real value is. Call 877-249-6988. You can also save a bundle when you combine DishNet high-speed internet with your TV service. Call 877-249-6988. Programming starting as little as $29.99, plus access to thousands of movies and TV shows. Stream to your TV, smartphone, or tablet. Call 877-249-6988. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get DISH today. Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Hey folks, it's Mike Krasinga. We are back inside realestateradio.com, inside realestateradio.com. Come on in, stay a while. Guess what, folks? It's time for our high school sports segment. I am super stoked to talk to head coach from Katie Football 
high school champion, 6A this year, uh, Coach Gary Joseph uh, from down the Houston area, Katy, Texas, high school football state champion. Uh, Coach, are you on the line with us? Yes, I am. Thank you. Coach, it's uh, a real pleasure to talk to you. Uh, I was looking over your numbers again, and, and just an amazing record down there. Uh, the latest numbers I have, 168 wins and 14 losses. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we've been very fortunate around here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're running one heck of a program down there. And, um, you know, I was looking over some of the scores from uh, this season and uh, a lot of shutouts. And um, now you had a perfect season this year. Isn't that right? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Uh, we ended up being 16-0. Uh, we had a we had a good football team. Uh, the kids have played very well together. Yeah, it's kind of the immaculate season, sixteen and zero, and then you finish it off with the with the state championship. Of course, state championships are uh, nothing unusual for you guys down there. Multi time state champions down there, but to do it on a perfect season has got to be, uh, you know, one heck of a ordeal. Yeah, well, it's it's a tough deal in, in Texas winning a state championship and. You know, we appreciate each and every one we have won because we know how hard they are to come by. Absolutely. Now, let me ask you a question. Um, you know, when you've got so many of these shutouts, and then and, and they're by large margins, you know, you're putting up huge numbers, you know, 46-0, 57-0, 52-0, 84-0. to keep the kids uh, focused, and is, is it hard to keep their, their foot on the gas? No, sir. Uh, you know, like I said, the expectations, you know, at Katie are, are real high, and the kids understand that it's just a process. And, you know, the, the games that we won, it's out. We were just fortunate this year. We had a little depth. So when we stepped, stepped in, uh, the kids' performance didn't drop off. And so for, for that, you know, we were very, like I said, fortunate and blessed. Um, you know, we had some good football teams in the past that have, have played very well together. And like I said, this team played well together. The defense complemented the offense. Offense companies are our, our special teams and stuff, so we were just very fortunate in that respect. Sure. So you just had a had a very deep roster, and it's kind of you know the next man up, and so it's nice when you know if you're if you're resting starters, you know the next guys come in, and it's like nothing changed, right? And that's that's it, right. And we had a lot of injuries early in the year, and we were able to have some kids come in and come through. And by the time they got well, we created a lot, a lot of depth and things, and it really made our football team better. Sure. Uh, tell me a little bit about you know what you what you do down there that's special to keep such a so keep the expectations up, but also delivering on those expectations. You know, and you know, young kids, you know, young men are are, are hard hard to corral, and and you know, it it takes a particular type of person, a particular type of coach to really demand that respect and and run the show and um, uh, keep it going consistently is is very difficult. How are you doing that down there? Well, there's no, you know, secrets to this trade. You know, our kids, hard work is still the answer for them, and, and they understand that they're going to be a part of it, that they're going to have to learn what work and what, you know, trust and what values are. And uh, we're very fortunate at Katie that we have a great administration that supports our coaching staff, and, and we have kids and parents that support our coaches, you know. And a lot of places, the, the parents, uh, want to micromanage around here they let us coach their kids and i think that's very important and they trust us to sit there and, and we're going to do the right thing by their kids and our kids you know therefore trust us too because they understand that if if they will be coached and allow themselves to be coached and allow themselves to be humble and be unselfish that they have a chance to do something great for the school and and for themselves as they go through this thing yeah, absolutely. Well, and I guess it hopes it helps as well for those parents to to trust you, uh, especially when you're about to be uh, inducted into the Texas High School Football Hall of Fame. It, that that helps, doesn't it? Well, that that's a compliment to this. I mean, you know, not even not even not to think that I could have done it without the kids, and I have great coaches, and I have had great coaches that have worked with us through the with us through the years, and. You know, you know, they have built great relationships with our kids and parents and our community. So, yeah, it, it's all about trust. Yeah, it is. You know, and, and Katy is just a great little area down there. I actually had one of my clients uh, that I, I helped sell their home in, in Pflugerville over in Austin and, and just had a, 
uh, one of the best agents uh, that I referred them to down in Katy, and they purchased down in Katy, and, and they're absolutely loving it down there. They're, they're folks uh, are executives over there at the, at the new water park down there, and they just have amazing things to say about Katy, and Katy really is a, a great, great area. Um, talk a little bit more about um, how – how the transition was when you kind of moved over from uh, other positions there kind of into 04 and, and kind of you kept your foot on the gas because, you know, y'all had state championships before, but you kind of kept it, kept it foot on the gas and just kept it going and going and going down there. Well, and it was a great thing. You know, Katie is, is probably the fastest growing area in, in the United States and overall. And we have seven high schools with, with high school aid on the board and, and even the next one, you know, designed to be drawn up and stuff. Um, you know, we have, you know, because of the success we've had, you know, we have a, a good program. We have a good feeder program. Our junior high kids, you know, they, they come up and, you know, the, they sit there and, and go to ball games and, and they watch and see and, and they can see the excitement in the crowd every week. You know, the parents get out and support their kids. It's the people in the community get out and support the kids. It's not like that in a, in a lot of places. A lot of it's because of the way our kids play, and a lot of it is because of the way they handle themselves. And you know that expectation hasn't gone down, and, and we still you know expect them to act like young men and, and people that that people can be proud of. You know, and and uh, the standard is still there, and the standard's been set. It's just a matter of living up to the standard. Right. The other thing that we've been able to do is is like I said, I've been able to hire great coaches around this place, and and, you know, they come in and, you know, even if, if they haven't been a part of a championship, you know, they, they've worked and made us champions. And it was great this year because I had six coaches that, that hadn't won a state championship. And just to, to feel the joy and elation for them was, was, a, was a great feeling and a great thing. Great thing for our kids and stuff. And so, so you know, each and every one of the championships you win are very special. And, and uh, each one of them are, are quite different, like you say. But, you know, the biggest thing when taking over is, is you know I wanted the program to stay at a high level, and and we worked and make sure we came to work every day to put it at a high level. Absolutely, yeah, and it's just a testament, you know, to what you were doing down there, and you kind of kept that philosophy going and uh, added your own uh, mix to it, you know. But it, it is all about you know the players have to uh, you know buy in, the coaches have to buy in, and. You know, the head coach has to do so many things. It's, it's a cult of personality and, and, and to have the charisma and, and, to, and, to, and the drive and the energy to keep all these parts going. You know, a lot of people don't understand how much it takes out of you as a head coach. You know, you, you the ups and the downs of the season and then dealing with parents as well. And so I just applaud uh, you and everything you're doing down there to build such a great program, but every head coach out there as well. Oh, you're, you're quite right and stuff. You know, they have to, the coaches have to sacrifice a, you know, a lot every day, you know, because they spend a lot of time away from their family. Uh, but as we've talked to our coaches about, you know, your family is, is most important in things. And, and, uh, but it's not all about quantity. It's about quality. And, and to make sure you spend quality time with, with your, your own kids, you know, not just the kids we coach, but with your own kids. Sure, absolutely. And, uh, you know, speaking of kids, one of your kids, I understand, made it to the U.S. Army All-American Bowl, which was played yesterday in San Antonio. I believe Kyle Porter made the roster, uh, one of your running backs. Is that right? Yes, sir, he did. Um, unfortunately, you know, he was hurt the last four games of the year. And, and um, after the season, though, we had him all done, and they put him in a boot. He didn't get to play, but he was there representing KD High School and, and had a fantastic time. I know I saw that it was that was unfortunate with the with the injury and the timing and you know but to be a part of that was such a such a huge thing especially our, having uh, missed uh, some time during the season as well so just a huge honor for him and of course you know for your football team down there as well. Uh, no question, you know any you know that's what we talk about you know and Kyle will be the first to tell you you know the recognition he's gained is because of the team you know and. And in our place, our kids still understand they'll put the team first. And, and uh, no doubt that kid is just another one of the ones that did. You know, he played hurt. He played injured. You know, and, and he, he played well with it and stuff. He made no excuse. Absolutely. Well, Coach, hey, I really appreciate your time calling in on a Sunday morning. Uh, folks, this has been Coach Gary Joseph down in Katy. 
state champions, 6A, Katie football, multi-time state champion head coach uh, with an amazing, perfect, immaculate season, 16-0, and capped off with the state championship. And what an amazing program they have down there. By the way, this head coach is 168-14. and These are numbers that – to me, are just crazy numbers. 168 wins, only 14 losses. Um, just a great man. And, and Coach, uh, we really appreciate you calling in and talking to us today. And uh, uh, great wishes for a great season next year. And, uh, you know, congratulations on an amazing season this past season. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate what you said about us and our program. And I really appreciate your insight. You know, it, 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 it's been very good. And I appreciate it. It's been good talking to you. Same here. Coach, we really appreciate it. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Folks, that was our high school sports segment. We were just talking with Gary Joseph, head coach down in Katy, Texas. Um, you know, I love talking to the coaches because they do so much for us. And like he says, you know, they really, really sacrifice. And not just, you know, head football coaches, you know, head volleyball coaches, even the secondary coaches of volleyball, softball, baseball, track, everybody. You know, the coaches, they spend so much time away from their family and they, they help in the community and they help the kids and, and they're integral in building our kids into more productive folks in society down the line. That's why I love doing the high school sports segment. Love sports, of course, but high school sports, high school athletics is just really important out there. Um, by the way, next week we're going to be uh, talking to head coach of Cedar Park, uh, Carl Absick. Uh, so high school sports segment next week, we'll be talking to Cedar Park head coach, uh, Carl Absick. Um, but really, I'm just in awe of, of Coach Gary Joseph's numbers. Uh, 168 wins is, is, is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, folks, we're going to take a short break, and I'm going to come right back and finish it out. I'll see you in a few. Make your travel dreams come true January 7th through the 10th at the Tarrant County RV Show at the Fort Worth Convention Center. Over 250,000 square feet of every style of RV. Come check out the array of everything from pop-up campers to fully equipped travel trailers. From fifth wheels to Class A motor coaches with all the luxuries of a home on wheels. And register to win things like a Trek bike, stand-up paddleboard, a Yeti cooler, and on Sunday, 500 fishing poles to the first 500 kids with paid admission. All courtesy of the exhibiting dealers of the Tarrant County RV Show. Get your tickets and discount coupons online at fortworthrvshow.com. That's fortworthrvshow.com. Don't miss out on specialty exhibits like cooking classes and camping equipment demonstrations and a whole lot more. Whether you're a seasoned RVer or a newcomer, find out everything you need to know at fortworthrvshow.com. That's fortworthrvshow.com. It's the Tarrant County RV Show, January 7th through the 10th. For tickets, go to fortworthrvshow.com. How do we stop an out-of-control freight train called the federal government? Governor Greg Abbott wants the states to work together. Grant Stinchfield here, Monday on the Stinchfield Report, why a convention of states is a great idea that will never happen. It starts at 5 on 570 KLIF. Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Hey folks, Mike Krasinga here, Inside Real Estate, InsideRealEstateRadio.com, InsideRealEstateRadio.com. Hope you got to tune in for that high school sports segment with Gary Joseph that we just... Uh, Talk to him from Katy, state champions down in Katy. Uh, what a great conversation that was. Folks, if you ever miss anything on the show, uh, go to InsideRealEstateRadio.com, hit the archive page, and the YouTube files are up for, of all of our shows. And if you want to uh, get that show as soon as it comes out every Monday or Tuesday, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, and uh, it'll pop in there and let you know it's right there. Uh, we always have fun with our show, talk about all kinds of crazy things, not just real estate. Uh, we talk about life and, and all kinds of things going on in life and uh, sports, etc. So inside real estate radio dot com is where you want to go. Uh, folks, keep in mind, if you ever need real estate services at all, buying, selling, uh, you want to give me a call. Go to InsideRealEstateRadio.com and get all my information there. You can click over to my other website, DFWMetroplexRealEstate.com. We have a gazillion websites. 
Uh, of course, you can always follow along with this at Pinterest for all the, the uh, topics and stories. You know, we're going to have uh, more information about Coach Gary Joseph and his accomplishments will be on that Pinterest page along with the other topics we talked about, Chase Tower and all that stuff. So if you ever want more information about those subjects, uh, we're always putting that on Pinterest now. And so you can follow those stories along as well. And, uh, you know, for the folks over at Millennium Title, our favorite folks over there, they're going to be back here in the next few weeks. They've been out for a while, uh, but a uh, huge part of what we do here uh, behind the scenes. And we want to thank those folks over at Millennium Title. They're going to be back in the next few weeks. And, of course, J.C. Harder was out today uh, from Goosehead Insurance, but he will be back actually live next week. We we're going to get him live in here and uh, so we'll be excited to talk to him again live and in person. And uh, so we're excited to do that. Folks, it's been Mike Rozinga with Inside Real Estate. By the way, folks, we are here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Tune in with us. We hope you do. Uh, we'd love to have you. Uh, Inside Real Estate with Mike Rozinga, folks. Have a great, great week. We are out of here. Neither the hosts nor the guests or contributors of the show Inside Real Estate with Mike Krasinga are attorneys. CPAs, tax advisors, or investment advisors, and are not providing legal advice during the course of the show. If you need professional legal advice or services in any of those categories, please seek the appropriate professional. The host is a licensed real estate agent in Texas with a Chris Arnold Premier Realty Brokerage, a fair housing broker and member of the MLS. Texas real estate agents are prohibited from providing legal advice. KLIF News and Information. Keeping you informed around the clock every day. The resources of our local news team stays on top of the news as it breaks. And that means you are on top of the news. Traffic information every morning when you need it. Lock us in with Traffic on the Fives at 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, and 55 past the hour. And it all comes your way from our home right in the nerve center of Dallas. Victory Park, next to the American Airlines Center. News and Information, 570 AM, KLIF. News and information, 570 AM, 96.3 FM, HD2, KLIF, Dallas, KSCS, FM, HD2, Fort Worth, KLIF.com. Accumulus Station. Chin. 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 Chin.